Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about helping verbs. Um, and so go ahead and write your name on your paper. So many irregular verbs change spelling when they're used with helping verbs. So often the new spelling uses N or EN to show past tense. Okay, not always, but often. So for example, an irregular verb is grow, right? The past tense is grew, but if we're using the past tense with a helping verb, had grown, right? So we added the N to the end of that. All right, so we're going to look at some of those, some of those words and be super wary of the with the helping verb have, right? Or be, because be and have are helping verbs. All right, on the line, write the correct form of the verb in parentheses. We are going to do one and two together, and then you guys are going to do three, four, and five on your own, and you can check your work. All right, here we go. My class had, so here's our helping verb, drive all morning to get to the seashore. So I'm going to add an end to that. My class had driven. So it already has an E there. I didn't need to add another E, but I did need to add an N. So remember, we're doing E-N. Oops, lights just went off. So remember, we're doing E-N, or we're adding just plain N. Sorry, that's going to take a second to adjust. Woo, there we go. All right, so these are the two that we're adding at the end, either E-N or N. Then we had ride in a boat to get to a mangrove swamp. Then we had ridden in a boat. So I'm going to add an N to that. It already has an E. All right. I'm going to leave you to do the rest on your own. Remember, you're looking for the had, had, had. So you're going to either add EN or N because you know that it's the past tense form with the helping verb had, had, had. Okay, which is the past tense of have. Here we go. Okay, let's see what you got. It was the first time I had C, such a unique ecosystem. It, there's already two E's there. We can't add a third E, so it's going to be S-E-E-N. We just added the N to it. So it becomes, it was the first time I had seen such a unique ecosystem. When it heard us coming, a heron had hide among the trees. There's already an E on there. When it heard us coming, a heron had hidden among the trees. We have to double. So we had to double the, the D. Because it wouldn't be hidden, it would be hidden. Afterwards, a scientist had speak to us about preserving mangrove swamps. I would say spoken. Afterwards, a scientist had spoken to us.
about preserving mangrove swamps. All right. I hope that this worked well for you, and I hope that you understand a little bit about um, when you have a helping verb and you are um, forming the past tense, right? All right. Thanks for joining me.